and thank you so much for clicking on this video my name is Kimberly I go by Kimberly here on YouTube and I do everything makeup related so of course you're stopping by because you want to know how to apply your makeup or a few tips and tricks to step up your makeup game and make it stronger well you have reached the right channel don't forget to hit the like button if you like videos like this and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button that way you're notified whenever I drop a new video so today's video is gonna be how to apply rhinestone so i applied rhinestones on my eyes and this also on my hair so it's everything rhinestone you want to know how to apply rhinestones to your makeup look to step up your game and make it look stronger and if you also want to do a little rhinestones in your hair then this is the video for you i'm going to show you all my tips and tricks and it's super easy so this video is not going to be long i'm going to go ahead and jump right into the video because i don't want to hold you guys too long let go now we're gonna get into the video you guys are gonna be a pro at applying rhinestones so when I tell you this is easy this is super easy don't mind me so the first thing that I'm gonna go into is apply some eyeshadow this step is optional but this is gonna show me where I want to apply my rhinestones so I'm gonna be using the makeup by Yolanda artistry vault palette by Melissa and I am mixing girl by an Afrobeat and I am applying this eyeshadow in a closed cut crease fashion. The thing about this is this is super easy. The only thing you really need is the right brush. Like this is real time and this is how I'm applying a closed cut crease. So I use a flat fluffy eyeshadow brush in order to get the shape that I want. And now I'm just applying a nude eyeshadow on top of my lid so it looks like I don't have any eyeshadow color there. Also gonna clean up my cut crease so look how sharp this is. Looks so neat. Keep in mind guys, these first steps are completely optional. This is not how to apply the rhinestones. I'm just showing you guys how I started the look off. So now to the important part. So I have several sizes of rhinestones, the rhinestone sticker thingy, and then also just some regular duo eyelash adhesive. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to lay down the glue along the outline that I have. I am only applying like four dots at a time. And then I'm gonna go and apply my rhinestone. So for the rhinestones, you have two sides. You have a raised side and then you have a flat side. So with the rubber part of whatever you call it, if you guys know what this is called, please listen in the description box below because I have no clue. But I am applying the flat side directly on the skin and the raised side is along the side of the rubber. So only four dots at a time because this glue dries really, really quick since you're only applying a little bit at a time. You don't want your glue to dry up and then you won't be able to apply your rhinestone. So when I tell you guys this is super easy, it's really easy. So all you're doing is just picking up the rhinestones and applying them to the glue. And if you ever need to fix up a line, I like to use the metal side in order to line my rhinestones back up and they are easy to move. So I'm just gonna go ahead and allow you guys to watch. As I go toward the end of my eye, I start to place the dots a little bit closer together because the rhinestones are starting to get smaller. I start with larger rhinestones um, at the front and then smaller rhinestones at the tail just so that I can have this cascading flow effect. I'm gonna let you guys watch so you can see how I finish the look and then after that, I'll show you how I applied the rhinestones to my hair and that is really, really easy too. Now on to the hair. What I'm gonna be using is the Got To Be Glued Ultra Gel. Please do not put eyelash glue in your hair. This gel is easy to wash off and of course it is made for hair. So use the back of any eyeshadow brush. That's what I'm using right now. And I am applying the rhinestones in just whatever fashion that I wanna do. I'm using different sizes, different colors, and I am just sporadically placing them along my hairline. So this is really simple too. This is an easy way to be creative and to apply rhinestones to your hair without it damaging your hair. 
The gel is easy to wash out and you know that we have to protect our edges at all costs. So all products used will be listed in the description box below. I hope you ladies enjoyed the video and this is the final look. Well, ladies, you have reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if this video helped you at all. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section below. I love to connect with you guys and talk to you. If you want to stay in touch with me, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok. I also post a lot of tips and tricks there as well. So if you don't find me on YouTube, you can find me there. Well, that is pretty much it. I don't want to leave you without any words of encouragement. Don't forget that you're here for a purpose and that you guys are all unique and beautiful in your own right. Share some love today. So do a good deed. I love you so much. Stay motivated, stay encouraged, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.